Hi guys and thanks for watching. Today I've got another tale from the realm of Miss Marilyn Monroe, but today it's a current event. So her house just sold a day before what would have been her 91st birthday, and it sold for $7.25 million. While Marilyn lived in that house, she never allowed photographers to photograph the inside. Now that there are some photos from the listing of the house, I want to take you guys inside and show you what it looks like. And I'll also share some facts and some mysteries about Marilyn's last home. Looking at the photos, if you haven't checked out Marilyn's house before, you might be surprised at its simplicity. It did sell for $7.2 but it's a rather large property in a very expensive area of Brentwood, California. But for Marilyn's time, it was actually around $80,000, and it was the only house that she ever owned herself, and she was very proud of it. Marilyn loved decorating it with things that she found on trips to Mexico. And you can see that a lot of the Spanish style still remains in the architecture. You can click the link in the info box to go to this post on my website, where you can watch the video and scroll through even more pictures of her house while we talk. What do you guys think? Is this what you would have expected her house to look like? Can you imagine yourself living there? Personally, it's right up my alley, especially being from Florida. There's a ton of those Spanish style houses, and I love how open it is. And I can totally imagine her just loving to live there because when you look at the overview of the house, which is really cool that now we can have an actual aerial shot, you can imagine her pulling into the front and then walking the long way, and it's a really long way back into the back, so it's sort of secluded where the bedroom and pool and all of that stuff would have been. So she would have gotten away from the road and kind of come through this like little maze to get into her little safe place, so I love that. Marilyn bought the house in 1962 and she lived there until her death. For those of you interested in the mystery and controversy surrounding her death, you can click this video to watch more about that. The house was actually part of the controversy surrounding that because Marilyn was so thrilled to decorate this house, and up until days before her death she was talking about decorations she was planning on ordering and things that were coming in, and so this goes into the evidence against the idea that she committed suicide. So click here if you want to know more about that. I was reading up a little bit about Marilyn's house for you guys, and I actually came across an interview from Life magazine, and it's from 1962, and it was a time when Life came over to her house to interview her. And even though they came all that way to interview her, and kind of talk a little bit specifically about the fact that she had a new house, she would not allow them to take photos inside of her house. She had spent pretty much the last 10 years in high profile marriages and relationships, and she was now single, she had bought her own house by herself, the only one she had ever had, and always dreamed of since she grew up as an orphan when she was a child. She discussed with the reporter about how happy she was that the house was so private, and that's why she wouldn't let them take the pictures. So here's a quote. I don't want everybody to see exactly where I live what my sofa or my fireplace looks like. Do you know the book Everyman? Well, I want to stay just in the fantasy of Everyman." End quote. Well, I don't know that book. Um, for those of you that don't know, Marilyn was an avid reader, and she obviously knew a lot of books that I don't, so that's interesting. <laughs> I guess she kind of wanted to stay anonymous and have her privacy in her own little world. And the next part I really love because I think it also shows how kind of a person Marilyn was, and also a lot of what she went through because of what she thought was important. So in the next part she told Life Magazine that she was keeping the guest house open for friends of hers who wanted to take advantage of the privacy, saying the space would be saved for, and then here's the quote, any friends of mine who are in some kind of trouble, you know, and maybe they'll want to live here and they won't be bothered till things are okay for them. As for welcoming guests, Monroe said, Anybody who likes my house, I'm sure I'll get along with. Now, for those of you who waited for the mysteries about the house. I've actually been researching this house specifically for a while because I saw in an interview of Anna Nicole Smith that she said she had rented the house, and it was just sort of a passing comment, and I couldn't find anything else about it, and I thought, that is so bizarre and just so strange, and I love things that are before the days of the internet, especially right before the days of the internet, when it's like we almost could have seen her, you know, vlogging in Marilyn's house if it would have been 15 years later, but instead there's nothing, and so I started looking into it. Now, Marilyn's house is supposed to be one of the most often haunted places by Marilyn. And this is stated in a million places around the internet, but mainly when you try to look up any info other than that, it doesn't say who says that. I did think it was rather odd that the article listing the house for sale mentioned that the people who were selling it did not live in the house and had never lived there. 
So I wonder if they were just being respectful or if maybe they had a better reason not to live there. Personally, I want to believe that she's resting happily in peace and I also don't think she would do anything evil to you unless you were an evil person, but I still think that it's interesting to think about. I couldn't really find any other information about Anna Nicole living there, and I also couldn't really find anybody else talking about having experiences with Marilyn's haunted house, until lo and behold I find an interview that actually linked the both of them. In the 90s, Miss Anna Nicole Smith did in fact rent Marilyn's house along with her young son, and she's one of the people who says that Marilyn's ghost was around her there. Marilyn was somewhat of a patron saint to Anna Nicole, but especially at her house she said she could feel her presence. She said that she loved it because she could feel her all around, but her son Daniel, who was a child at the time, absolutely hated it because things would just randomly move. I found actually a lot more info and footage of Anna Nicole's time living in Marilyn's house, so if you guys are interested in that specifically, put it in the comments below and I'll make a video for you about that. I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, share it with a friend who you think might like it. I make new videos every week, and I have new posts up on my website, jessiesage.com. Talk to you soon! Do you guys like my nails? They're kind of Marilyn-esque actually, kind of like her little white dress. It's a little reverse French that I made up.